Howdy Doody time. out my, my five o'clock shadow, Bob Smith. Well, thank you, Howdy. Yes, Howdy Doody's on the air. Time to tune in everywhere. Every Tuesday, 5 p.m., and Howdy Doody's here again. Today our fun house opens wide with lots of games and laughs inside. A movie, newsreel, everything. So come on, boys and girls, let's sing. It's Howdy Doody time. It's Howdy Doody time. Howdy do, say howdy do to you. Let's give a rousing cheer, cause howdy doody's here. It's time to start the show, so kids, let's go. Well, hi kids, hi everybody. Tuesday, 5 o'clock, and that means it's Funhouse Day here on the Howdy Doody Show. Gee, I'm sorry our Giants didn't win. Oh, but they tried hard, didn't they, Howdy Doody? Huh? Oh, let's not even talk about it for a while, Mr. Smith. Oh, it's a sad day for me. Oh, Howdy, that's perfectly all right. Lots of more ball games here for the rest of the year. Anyway, kids, this is Funhouse Day, as we said before, here on the Howdy Doody Show. Of course, we have Frank Paris and our artist Nino and our Howdy Doody newsreel and an old-time movie that I know you kids are going to enjoy seeing. But most of all, all our kids over there in the fun house. How you doing over there, kids? How's everything? Ah, good to see you. Oh, there, kids. Well, for heaven's sakes, don't we have a good-looking group over there today? Yes, sir. And also a big old hello to all you boys and girls out there at home. Well, how are you fine? And I, I see that you've uh, you've got your doohickey here. Is it is it is it working as yet? Well, uh, uh, no, it's, it's not, Mr. Smith. I have a few things i got to talk to you about it. Uh, but look, I'll tell you what you do. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about that a little later. Right now, uh, I, I would like to awfully much have you show my newsreel right away, if you could, please. Oh, okay, Howdy. You'd rather we do it right away. Is that the idea? Huh? Yeah, you see, I uh, I haven't been seeing them. I've been old traipsing all around the country. So uh, suppose you uh, show the first newsreel here and I'll... I'll stay with you. I'd kind of like to see it myself, and then I'll tell you all about my doohickey, okay? All right, fine, Howdy. Well, then kids are going to start the show today by showing the Howdy Doody newsreel. And Howdy, come on, you sit right over here with me, and we'll be watching the newsreel together and telling all the kids about it, okay? Ah, oh, there's our boy, Howdy. You know, we think these newsreels are great because, of course, we, we want you boys and girls to, to know just what's happening, too. Well, here's our first news flash for today, and it's straight from the nursery. Mr. Dwight Eisenhower, the future president of Columbia University, became a grandfather. And here is the whole happy family greeting the little newcomer. Mama there is certainly glowing. Grandpa Eisenhower, he certainly appears to be enjoying this. Yeah, he's enjoying this even more than the Normandy campaign, Mr. Smith. Ha <laughs> great, Hottie. Now Howdy Doody takes us over to Berlin, Germany. Hundreds of boys and girls are all here at the train station, ready to get aboard for an outing in the country. And the kids are going to Boxstromberger. Is that right, Howdy? Uh, say that again, would you please? Well, it says here, the Boxstromberger. Oh, your mouth goes funny when you say that. <laughs> Boxstromberger. That's a dumb word. Yeah, well, anyway, Howdy, they're, they're going there for some swimming and some fun. So everybody here is waving goodbye. Probably lots of envious children there who have to stay in Berlin. And they, they go across the river on a on sort of a Tunerville type of a ferry there to the camping grounds. And here the kids seem to be putting on some sort of a skit. Girls and boys, you'll notice, are wearing those high silk hats. And at last comes the swimming. 
Gee, with all those kids, I only hope there's a, enough water in the river to go around, Mr. Smith. Apparently, there is, though, Holly. Everybody seems to be having just a good time. Well, here in New York City, a miniature train company is putting out a Father's Day. Yes, sir, and that sign reads, sorry, Junior, it's Papa who plays. <laughs> I was glad to see that Daddy's got a day with electric trains, Mr. Smith. You let your Daddy play with your train on Christmas, Howdy? Oh, sure. And here we have all the Papas playing and watching the little trains go around. And the Dads are holding balloons and ice cream and lollipops. Loader. Oh, yeah, I, uh, I had a friend who had one of them for Christmas. Boy, they're wonderful. Drop all the logs in the flat car. Certainly a wonderful train set there. And here, kids, is a bridge that looks just as real as the ones a thousand times its size. See, it goes up, and it lets the boat go underneath, and then it comes down again. And, of course, the train starts moving again. <laughs> well, that's a funny fellow right in the front, isn't it, Mr. Smith? And through the tunnel comes the... Uh, well, what's the name of the train, Howdy? What's called the... Uh, the Howdy Doody Limited! Howdy Doody Limited! Comes around the bend. Gee, Howdy, you really did some great camera work on this one. Oh, thank you, Mr. Smith, thank you. I enjoyed it, too. And over here for our last story, we're at Annapolis, Maryland, the Naval Academy, and they're putting on a, a boxing demonstration. Now, the boxers, though, they have at least, oh, at least 20 years to go before they'll make seem in second class, but, well, they're not letting their youth interfere with their training as fighting men. And the referee goes down on the first bout. <laughs> And of course, these kids, they get weighed in just like the grown-ups do. Now, what class would he be in, Mr. Smith? Gee, I don't know, Howdy. <laughs> and in this fight, the, the smaller fella, he's just mauled throughout the entire fight. Boy, I felt sorry for that little kid, Mr. Smith. He an awful beating there. <laughs> I wish Mr. Bob Stanton were here, Mr. Smith. Oh, do you like to hear Mr. Stanton, Howdy? Yeah, left to the chin, though. Right to the nose and another left and right. And... Goodness, he's getting an awful end of it. And there the, the big boy just finally goes down from exhaustion after swinging a few hundred times. <laughs> that was a bowl all right and finally the little fella goes down. Now these are really two midgets of the junior, junior tournament. Sandy there, he, he goes down several times, too. Uh. <laughs> you know, 
I got some boxing gloves for Christmas, Mr. Smith. Did you, Howdy? Yeah. And now here little Jackie dashes out of his corner like a rabbit. And both of them kids go down together. <laughs> I think there was some ice on the floor of that ring, Mr. Smith. Oh, really, Howdy? Oh, boy, it sure looks it. trying to tell who's the winner of this fight. Oh, yeah. What does that little fella keep running back to the corner for, Audie? I don't know, but look how he leaves. <laughs> Certainly a good shot there, Holly, and I'm afraid we're going to have to call that last fight a draw and just be glad that you weren't refereeing, okay? All right, well, kids, there's our, our first movie for today. And now, Holly, you said you were going to tell me something about your what's it. I see you, you, you put a cover on it, didn't you, Holly? Yeah, oh, yeah, I got it all, uh, all covered in, Mr. Smith, but, uh, gee, I, I, I got a little, little trouble with the thing. It, it, it just won't work. Oh, what's wrong? Have you, have you tried turning it on? Go ahead, put, turn it on there, Howdy. Let's let's see what happens there with it, would you please? Where is it? Oh, for heaven's sake! Oh, there is trouble in here. Oh, that, that's no good. No, no good, Howdy. So turn it off, would you please? Turn it off. I said, what 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 seems to be the gee? That's a complicated looking thing in there, Howdy. What? What 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 is the trouble? Or don't you know yet, boy? Well, yeah, yeah, I I know the trouble, all right. It, you see, you see these two parts in here, Mr. Smith. You see the, this is the called the Finnegan Stevie. Oh yeah, yes. Yeah. And over here is the um, upper furnace pin. Yes. Well, you see those, those two parts touch. You see, go over here and look. Oh yes, they do touch, huh? Yeah. And then that's the trouble, huh? Well, yeah, yeah. The, the trouble is, you see, I, I need a, at least an inch of space between those two parts because they, uh, they rub, and uh, well, it, it, it just won't work while those two parts are touching. Oh, I see. You, you actually need an inch of space in there. Is that the idea? Well, yeah, yeah. Now, the the point is, uh, where, where do you think I could uh, find an inch of space to put in there? Oh, well, gee whiz, now you should be able to find an inch of space someplace here in New York City. A lot of space around, don't you think so? Why, I, I hope so, yeah. Because, you know, Mr. Smith, when this gets complete, well, Boy, I'm going to be able to get all the bowl scores on this thing, and, well, it'll be the greatest howdy doohickey you ever saw in your life, and, and I just can't wait to get the thing fixed, so maybe uh, maybe I better go and try to find that inch of space, huh? Well, that, that's a good idea. All right, look over and meet all the kids over here in the fun house, and you try to find that inch of space. All right, boy? Okay? Yeah, yeah, good. Fair enough. I'll, uh, I'll try to find the inch of space, and I'll, I'll be back just as soon as possible. Okay, so long, Mr. Smith. All right, bye, howdy. Good luck. You try to find that inch of space. <laughs> Poor howdy Judy. Hello, kids. Hello. How you doing, huh? Hi. Oh, I'm glad. How about how many of you wanted the Dodgers to win today? <laughs> oh, you won. What, what did you fellows want to happen? Giants. I'm not for either. You're not for either? No. But you fellows are Giants fans? I'm Giants. And I notice you got Giants suits on. Well, good for you. Wonderful. Ha, ah, great. All right, well, kids, it was a good ball game, though. Must have been a terrific ball game. Sorry that we couldn't see it here. But uh, definitely the, the Giants lost today by a score of 8-7. to seven. Look, I'll tell you what we're going to do, kids. We're, we're, we're going to pretend that uh, we're at a ball game now, shall we? And uh, what's the song they always sing at a ball game? Take, Take me out. out. Take me out to the ball game, yeah. Now, what, what would you girls be having if, uh, if, if your boyfriends took you to the ball game? Back, 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 back. back. Yeah, probably. What would you fellows have? Soda. <laughs> what would you have? Soda. Yeah, uh, any one of a number of things. Let's get in the baseball mood, shall we? Sing a little Take Me Out the Ball Game, okay? Everybody now, come on. Oh, take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks. Ah, wait, let's, let's not go any further. Peanuts and Cracker Jacks. Could we have them? All right, fine. Thank you. Cracker Jacks for the girls. 
And peanut for... Hello. How are you? Isn't that cute? That's Robbie. All right, and peanuts for the fellas, okay? There we are. All right, now, uh, tell me what we're going to do, kids. We're going to start off here, before I even meet you, we're going to start off with a baseball stunt. Do you gals know as much about baseball as the boys do? Yes. <laughs> How about that, fellas? No, I don't something. Oh, you, you, you think you know more about ball than the girls do? Yeah. All right, we're going to find out. We're going to have a little stunt here. Uh, tell me what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw a, sort of a, a crude baseball diamond here. Uh, this is, of course, what, kids? Oh, home, home, home plate. Right. That's right. All right, now we're going to take our uh, our first young gentleman here. Now, what is your name, please? Irving Lockwood. Irving Lockwood. Is that right? That's how old are you kids today? I'm 12. You're all 12, and how old yes. are the girls? 12. Also 12. Okay. Irving, I'm going to ask you the first baseball question here for 10 points. Now, what position would the fellow play who patrols this area? First base. First base. Good for you. That's first base. All right, that's 10 points for Irby and the boys. And how about our second young lady? You are, please. Helen Gross. Helen Gross. All right, Helen. Tell me, please, uh, what position does a fellow play who covers this area? Center. A pitcher. This is first base, and this would be... Second base. That's what I wanted, second base. All right, that's for 10 points for the girls. And now, <laughs> how about our, uh, our second young man? Your name? Ed Lizzie. Ed Lizzie? Okay, Eddie Lizzie. Ed, do you know a lot of baseball, huh? Oh, yes. Yeah. You think you do? All right, then I want you to tell me, uh, what's the name of the player who patrols this general area out here? What's, what's uh, he called? The right fielder. The what? Right fielder. The right fielder. Okay, for 10 points. That's the right fielder. And now our second young lady, in your name? Theta Sletian. Okay, Theta. Theta, this is right field, and what's the name of the player who patrols this part of the field? Left field. Left field. I knew the girls knew as much about it as the boys. Why, <laughs> certainly they do. All right, now how about our uh, our third young man? What's your name? Stanley Heller. Stan Heller. Okay, Stan, you ready for a question too? Yeah. All right. Now you know that this is the uh, <laughs> this is home plate here, right? Mm -hmm. And this, of course, is the pitcher's mound. Yeah. And uh, here stands a fellow uh, with a bat in his hand. What's what's he called right here? Batter. The batter. Yeah. Now there are two men who stand behind the home plate. Is that right? Yeah. Now one is the catcher and one's the umpire. Is that yeah. right? All right. What's uh, what's that one's name? That's catch. That's the catcher. Good for you for 10 points. Who's our third young lady? Ruth Held. Ruth Held. All right, Ruth Held. What's that one called? The umpire. The umpire. I knew the girls knew as much about this as the boys. <laughs> huh? Are they too hard? <laughs> you make them a little easier? All right, we'll get on. <laughs> we'll get on with the last one. Uh, our, four, our fourth young man, your name? Donald Allen. Don. Okay, Donnie. Now, Don, uh, this is... Who stands in here? Pitcher. The pitcher. We better make a third base here so that everything is even. All right. Now, here's the pitcher, see? And the pitcher is standing there. Of course, he's got a cap on and uh, a few shoulders here and a couple mm -hmm. of arms and a couple legs. And uh, what do you think the pitcher has in his left hand, Don? What? You're wrong. You're wrong. Mm -hmm. He's a right-handed pitcher. He's a right-handed pitcher? Yeah. That's his left hand? Yeah. There's a glove in his left hand. Then he's a left-handed pitcher, because there's a ball in there. Gee, I hate to, hate to take the 10 <laughs> points away. I, I, I'll say that you didn't know that, okay? All right. He's a left-handed pitcher, and he had a ball in there, so give him 10 points, please. And uh, then our fourth young girl, and what is your name? Ellen Dobbins. Ellen Dobbins. Ellen, what's in his right hand? A ball. No, no, no. He has a ball in his left hand, because he's a, a left-handed pitcher. What's in his left hand? A glove. No, in his left hand, he's got a ball. What's in his right hand? It's a right-handed pitcher. <laughs> I'm going to change it no matter what you say. <laughs> You're right. It was a glove, and thank you. What is this? <laughs> you are not an artist, John. Oh, that isn't nice, for heaven's sake. All right. <laughs> 40 points for, for Ellen on that one. And, uh, see, the boys uh, had all right, too, didn't they? And the girls had all right. What is our score over here? Oh, they're all right. Boys have 40 points, and the girls have 40 points. The girls know as much baseball as the fellas do. I'm awfully glad for that. <laughs> okay, kids, nicely. Oh, wait, wait, excuse me just a minute. Will you please the telephone? I have no idea who it is. Who do you think it might be? How do you do It might be. Maybe Mel Ock wants me to play for the team. I don't know. <laughs> wait, kids, don't, don't leave. Will you please? I want to see who this is. Hello? Hello, Mr. Smell. 
by the grace of Alexander Graham Bell, the New York Telephone Company, and one Indian head nickel. Here I am. Well, say, you're getting pretty smart, howdy doody. Uh, how did you know that Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone? Well, I, uh, I didn't know the other day, Mr. Smith, and, and then I, I heard you mention it on your early morning radio program. Oh, well, thanks for the plug, howdy. Oh, that's, that's all right, Mr. Smith. Uh, will, uh, will, will you vote for me now? Oh, sure, howdy doody. Heavens, it, you didn't have to bribe me, though. I, I would have voted for you no matter what. Oh, well, boy, that's... That's what I like to hear. That's good. Say, uh, by, by the way, Howdy, uh, where are you, boy? Oh, I, uh, I'm at the, at the foot of uh, New York, Mr. Smith. Down here at the foot. Came all the way down to the battery. Uh, what on earth are you doing at the, at the foot of New York? Well, I'm, uh, I'm looking for that, uh, that inch of space for my doohickey, Mr. Smith. Because, you know, uh, every foot has uh, 12 inches, doesn't it? Oh, that's corny, Howdy Doody. Oh, no, Mr. Smith. No, it isn't, because... Well, because the average year of court is only about, uh, about nine inches. 